Hey guys, as you know, episode 7 of season 7 of Game of Thrones was released uh, last Sunday. That was the finale for that season. One season more uh, to go. And I'm going to give you a few predictions in this video. If you want to see my review for that episode, you can see it at the end of this video. I will link it for you on the cards that appear at the end. Uh, well, first, let's begin with the uh, main characters, if you will. Uh, as for Daenerys... Oh god, I think she's going to have a really hard time uh, realizing that she's not the heir of the of the Targaryen family, basically, and not the heir of the Iron Throne, to the Iron Throne. I mean, she's not the first one, as now we know for sure, and we knew for a while, that uh, Jon Snow is a Targaryen, and as he's a male Targaryen, he has, uh, he's a, he has a priority. Uh, essentially, over her to the throne. So uh, I don't think Daenerys is going to be like, okay, I'm in love with him, whatever. I mean, that would be very out of character. What I think could happen is for her to to help Jon Snow or John Targaryen or Aegon Targaryen, however you want to call him, and uh, like destroy the White Walkers, but may and maybe de destroy Cersei. But I don't think he, she's going to stay in, in in Westeros for long. Maybe she's going back to Essos because Essos was the land that saw her birth, not in the physical way, but in um, more like a personal way. And maybe she's going back there. And I don't think she's going to die or anything. And to be frank, I cannot really put my mind in get, having them married. I mean, that would be the logical uh, finale, and that may be the finale of the, of the series, that Jon Snow, uh, a.k.a. Aegon Targaryen, will be the king, and Daenerys will be the queen. Maybe that will be the end of the, of the series, but I just don't see it, because that's not in Daenerys' character. That doesn't really fit her. So I, I think she's going to help and everything, but they, uh, they are going to split. And incest has nothing to do with it, as weird as that sounds. Because incest is not a big thing in the Targaryen family, or in Westeros for that matter, apparently. So I don't think that's going to be a, a problem. The problem is going to be that Daenerys has always fought for the top position. And I think she's going to be very disappointed to know that she cannot have that top position. So that's going to be very interesting. Uh, of course, uh, we got a hint at the end that... Uh, the, uh, Bran and Sam Tarly are going to tell John that he's a Targaryen, but I honestly don't think he's going to be the first one to hear the news because, as you know, uh, Eastwatch was destroyed by the White Walkers. They are coming down the wall, through the wall, and I think the army of White Walkers are going to attack the group of Daenerys and John before they reach Winterfell. And maybe they are going to unite with the rest of the Northerners in a battle against, like, repel a little bit of the White Walkers. Um, so maybe the news is not going to come in the first episode. I mean, now I notice that. Maybe that's not the, will not be the case. It will be a little bit too easy. And I think you have to, I mean, it's not the greatest reveal because we have known for a while, but I think they are going to keep it from John a little bit longer. And that will be harder for the Aries, actually, for what I said uh, before. So, you know, that, uh, how the Game of Thrones will end? I think Jon will be crowned king as Aegon Targaryen. I don't know who his queen is going to be. Personally, I don't think it's going to be the Aries, but it seems really likely that she's going to be. Uh, and the Night King, of course, is going to lose. The White Walkers are going to die. That's not really something that we think. I mean, it, will be, it would be really surprising if the White Walkers won. That would be amazing, but I don't think so. As for Cersei, uh, many people are saying that she's going to become the queen of the Night King, which will be would be extraordinary. That would be just amazing. But I don't know how factual that would be. I think she's going to get killed in some way or another. I don't think Cersei, as evil as she is, I don't, I don't think she's going to be able to to you know survive all of this. And you uh, and from what the hand told the mountain, he's going to die eventually. For some, uh, I mean, somehow he's going to die. So that will be the last wall before reaching Cersei. So she's going to die. I don't really know somehow how. Uh, maybe 
uh, the Night King is going to kill her, or maybe he's going to turn her, and that would be really a great finale because destroying Cersei as a White Walker would be amazing. And maybe ri she riding the dragon that would be so good. I hope that's the finale, but you know that's difficult to say. Uh, well, as for the Starks, uh, we already saw in the last episode of this season that the Stark uh, children really know how to take care of themselves by themselves. They don't really need John anymore. So I think that Sansa will become like the real Winter of Winter, uh, Lady of Winterfell, like uh, maybe not Queen of Winterfell because he, he's her brother <laughs> is going to be king, but she's going to be like the like the Lady of Winterfell for good. I don't think she's going to marry, or at least there's no person that I would think could marry Sansa. But um, she may find someone. I mean, that's really possible. Uh, Arya will continue her adventures with maybe her many friends. Who knows? Maybe the Hound, maybe Brienne. Uh, and Bran is going to stay the Three Eye Raven forever, and he's going to see the future and the end of the world on his head because the world will end. Uh, someday, you know, and he's going to know when, but but he won't have to, to face many hard things after the White Walkers, I, one would hope. So, yeah, I, I mean, the Starks are going to be fine and Sansa will rule over, over them, so that's not really a problem. We know that um, the, the Red Witch, if we want, the Red Priestess, Melisandre, will come back to Westeros and die in Westeros. We don't really know how, we don't really know if she's going to be one of the keys in order to destroy the Night King, that may be possible. And she hinted that Varys is going to die also, which makes sense. I mean, Varys is one of the smartest and one of the most uh, endearing characters in this uh, series, but it wouldn't be that um, strange if he died. I hope he doesn't, because he would be a great hand or a great helper for anyone, uh, if you will. So I, it would be uh, very sad if he died, but. He probably will, to be honest. Uh, I thought it was kind of disappointing not to see, um, not to see Daenerys ask for uh, Elaria Sand or for Yara Greyjoy to the reunion, to the meeting they had, because you know she's the Greyjoy that counts. She's, I mean, she kind of counts if you think about it. And there's no one ruling Dorne, so she should have at least asked, like, let me see my former allies, because I, I would like to see if they're alive, just to check, you know. Larry Sand is going to go insane, watching her daughter die and rot. That will be, I mean, that's no, there's no escape from that. Maybe they will rescue her someday, but she's going to be crazy, like, really crazy. And without, I mean, of course she's going to be crazy. And Yara, as I said in my review for the episode, Yara is going to be saved by Theon, by her brother, and she's going to become the queen of the Iron Islands. However, he's going to die. Theon is going to die because he's the kind of character that really doesn't really ha doesn't have anything else to bring to the table, if you will. It does, it's, there's nothing more in that uh, in his character. The only thing he has to do is save his sister, and he convinced uh, a group of men to do so, and he will succeed. I think he will succeed, and she will notice that her brother did that for her, and he will probably die. I think he's going to die. For certain, I mean, for sure, that, that's not going to be uh, really that uh, strange. Uh, other minor characters, I mean, Brienne has like her, all the guys around to, to, to please her if you want, but I think she's kind of a friend of the Hound, and I think she's going to end up with Thormund for sure. I mean, that's the guy that's going to make her happy. And as for Jamie, I think Jamie is going to die eventually. I don't think that he's going to die like in the first episode of next season. That would be stupid. He's going to be there to uh, help them. Maybe not officially bend the knee to Daenerys, but just help them and realize how many mistakes he did and just ask for forgiveness, if you will, for all the wrong things that he did. And especially, uh, um, you know, to reunite with his brother who he loves. Uh, and that's going to be really good. I think Tyrion is the big wild card because we don't really know if he's going to die, live or die. But I think the fair thing would be for him to keep living and keep uh, being the hand to Daenerys wherever she goes. If she stays in Essos or if she goes to Westeros, maybe he's going to become the hand of 
uh, England Targaryen, John Stark, uh, John Snow, sorry, and uh, Varys is going to be the hand of the Queen. We don't really know that, but um, Tyrion is going to live. A small possibility of him dying, but I don't really see that as a fact. I, I think maybe that will happen, if not something for sure. And yeah, I think that covers most of the important characters of this series. Uh, the Greyjoy, Euron Greyjoy is of course going to die like yesterday. I mean, he, he is dead already since he appeared. I don't really have a doubt about that, so that's not really a thing. Of course, the Tyrell house has been destroyed. The uh, Martell house from Dorne is destroyed also. Uh, I mean, there are some people around, but mostly destroyed. Um, the people of the, of the, of the Riverlands dead because uh, Arya killed their uh, the main guy there, and the Knights of the Vale are going to be, go with uh, with Daenerys because they only have Sansa left, and uh, maybe the Vale is going to unite with the North. I mean, physically in the future, that might be another uh, prediction. So yeah, this uh, I mean, Arya is going to leave. I think she should die to be honest. But I think she's going to live in general. I mean, personally, I would like her to die, but she's going to live and she's going to go on great adventures. So, yeah, uh, I can think of any other characters, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, those are my thoughts on these uh, on the last season, season eight of Game of Thrones. Please uh, tell me what are your uh, opinions, what are your predictions uh, down below in the comments. And please like this video or did like this video if you want. I just want to know if you were here and share this video on your social media and subscribe to my channel for more content, not only from Game of Thrones, but movies and other series. Thank you so much. Goodbye.